hey Thierry, thank you so much for coming on. Huh? How are you? I'm good. How are you doing, man? Very good. Very good. Excellent. So you're calling from LA, right? We're talking. You're from LA. Yes. Amazing. So when did you? Uh, how did you get to LA? My father had uh, two brothers that was living in LA, and uh, when I was uh, 15 and a half, uh, uh, they decide to um, to uh, to apply to uh, be, become a citizen. And uh, wow. and when I was 15, they got uh, they got approved, and uh, I had it to leave. You know, like I had it to. And it's funny the way that I live. I took a, a train to London and from London we took a boat to the, we did this whole trip that uh, normally you just get in on a plane and you get there. I met you at the museum in, in, in Switzerland, was it a couple of years ago? Yes. Very briefly, where uh, there's a big painting of yours. There's a big chart. Yes, always. Painting. Always, always I try to do big. I want to do always big, big, big because <laughs> I love so much that I want to uh, uh, give. And, and for me, everything, it's like a kid mm -hmm. and, and, a, and a little world. He wants always something bigger than himself. So when I met you that time at the museum, I, you know, we met and I, I'm kind of like, I'm looking at you, I'm like, I know this guy from somewhere. And I realized it's from the, from the movie, uh, which I'm sure you hear all the time, but exit through the gift shop which if no one's checked it out, they need to check it out because it's a really great documentary. Uh, for you, would you, would you consider that that was like your turning point in, a, in your career, so to speak? Uh, was that a big moment for you when that film came out? Uh, I feel that it's a big change, that's for sure. Because uh, from uh, uh, being known a uh, little part in the world and, uh, and uh, overnight, uh, people know you from every country in the world. I can see that because it's such a fantastic documentary. And I mean, obviously, obviously it's associated with, uh, with Banksy, but I mean, the main, the main person in the film is you. I mean, I mean yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's the train, the train who brings everybody together. One of the things as well that I remember is that when we watched it, everyone was kind of talking about how they thought that maybe you were a creation from Banksy himself. It's like... There is so many different ways. Anybody who sees this movie has a different opinion of anything they see. So when you hear, you hear, is it a piece of Banksy? Is it Banksy himself? Like, you know, like even some people I tell them no, they say yes. So is it, is it real? Is it this? But in the end, there is so many different ways. Time will tell. Yeah, time will tell. No answer. There is no answer of anything now, but time will tell. Okay, that's interesting. That's, that's, the, that's the, 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 the best answer that I can give you on something that uh, how we can really like do something in life and you think you know something but what i know that you don't know okay well then, then there you go suspense <laughs> <laughs> exactly exactly <laughs> the, the suspense it's it's more enjoyable than uh, than tell you uh, an answer that it's finished you're out of it the suspense makes you live longer no i completely you, agree you you, you 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 multiply you trying to figure it out and it's like that it's a movie kind of way of uh, a big question mark yeah no it's anybody has his own answer do you see a lot of changes in the way that street art was back then to how it is now has it changed i think it's it's, it doesn't stop. It's an evolution. It's uh, 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 um, the movie, uh, the Banksy movie kind of open eyes to the whole world about something that uh, existed but uh, wasn't really seen it. Mm -hmm. And today uh, uh, it's growing. It's just growing every day. It's like a, we plant seed and there is giant tree that started long time before that uh, we're thinking about the street art. It's always been there. 
but it's another way. It's another, uh, 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 and uh, 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 now it's, uh, uh, it's growing not only in one country, but every country in the world. Uh, I'm going to go somewhere because there is so much noise. No, no, no. I get concentrated. Is that better for you? Yeah, no, it's just people talking and everything, and I, I don't hear. Here's a, here's a question for you. How, how would you describe your art to someone that hasn't seen it yet? I feel like uh, what's my art, it's, uh, it's part of my heart. You know, it's something that, it's, uh, 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 it's something that uh, I want to bring uh, um, positivity, colors, uh, happiness, fun. Uh, uh, but for me, mm -hmm. the 2020 used, for me, it was my year. You know, I choose 2020 and I said, 2020, it's vision. You know, when you have good vision, it's 2020. And, uh, and uh, six months later, I said, I didn't see it coming. Corona, riot, this, you know, in the end of it, it was like, what, what's going on, you know? <laughs> but uh, I feel like um, with this year, uh, I'm going to come out again. Oh, really? Okay, that's interesting. Ten, ten years later, I'm just going to go and, and do an another hit. But uh, to say about the art and everything, it's about positivity, love, colors, and happiness. Okay, nice. Because I was going to say, I mean, you're, 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 the mantra you use all the time is life is beautiful. Yeah, because, because it's, it's kind of uh, the, the sentence that is my mantra. Because every day is beautiful. Every day is a life. One day, one life. Every day you live a life because you don't know when it's going to stop. You don't know if it's going to be in 10 minutes or in five hours or in 30 years or in 70 years. You don't know. So time is so important that you have to appreciate that life is beautiful. Life is beautiful every day for everyone. Even if somebody is have problems or something, but there is a beautiful on everything. You just have to find and to be thankful for what you have. That's a very passionate answer. I, I told you, it's my mantra of life. This is what breaks everything for me because even if it's raining, I'm flat tired, I'm breaking my leg, I'm think I'm just gonna smile of it one moment, even if I cry. I'm gonna say life is beautiful. So you use a lot of cultural icons from the past in your art. So you have like Marilyn Monroe, from what I remember. Oh, I have everyone. Uh, Jimi Hendrix, Miles Davis, okay. Albert Einstein. But you mix them a lot with like the modern people like Madonna and Kate Moss, right? Uh, yeah, kind, kind of. No, it's, it's, it could be a mix, but uh, I okay. do a lot of pop okay. culture. I see. You know, people who, and for me, it's just to show you that many people is just the same of you and me. Like, like when I think of Charlie Chaplin, people think of a, of a guy who's making a movie, you know, like a, he's, a, he's a, a tramp, he's a, a charlot, you know, he's a tramp. But Charlie Chaplin for me is a writer. He's a musician, he's a composer, he's a, he's a, he's, he's a director, mm -hmm. he's an actor, he's a, how? How can you do all this? He's a pianist, he's a thing, he's a violinist, he's a, how can you do all of this and making a movie every day? How? Yeah, yeah, okay. You know, my, my, uh, one of my favorite movies, like all of them, I see it, but one of my favorite movies of all time, it's City of Light, it's with the blind. No. You know, and I, and I heard that the time to, for the girl to see that he was uh, rich, but he was poor, 
I was gonna have this connection. He stopped him for a year because he couldn't find it. Think of the right thing, exactly. And then the end, what was it? The door of the car. There was a nice car in the door. It was the guy who's coming out, but he goes the other way and, and she hear the door. And for blind, when you have a car and that time you're rich. Yeah, exactly. You know, like, like, uh, so it, it's, it's what I like about all these people. It's passion. I follow closely and everything what happened in his life, mm -hmm. you know? And it's not that I know every detail, but one moment he got deported. Yeah. And I said, you know what? He got blessed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know why? He started to have a house with his kids, his family. He was a backup. He was take care. He was living. He was his gift of what he did. He got gifted from something wrong, it becomes right. You know what's one of my favorite picture of all things of life? It's him and a chair, a rolling chair, you know, rolling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and his book or something, uh, a thing. And he has glasses. He's very old. Yes. There is his wife pushing like this. That's what the beauty of the life that he have. Still 2020, his movie didn't blink once. It's still perfect. Well, listen, I, maybe I'm biased, but I agree. <laughs> how, how, did you first, how did you first hear of him? Because when you, you, you end up on TV, I live in Europe, I grew up, and when you start watching that your kid, and you're watching a black and white film and you see him like funny and things like this, it's, it's something that goes straight to your heart. Mm -hmm. There is so much true and so much force and so much power and so powerful that you get dragged. Exactly. There is no, it can be Indian, it can be... Uh, Korean, he can be American, he can be French, he can be, you know why? Because the silence, it's every language. Albert Einstein mm -hmm. and Charlie Chaplin, it's two people that I have around me. Both of them did the same to me. Yeah, of course. They live in that time. Me, I have a picture of your father that uh, he, is, he is with Einstein many times. You know, Albert Einstein and him together. You know, with the war, mm -hmm. with everything happened, with all the bad things happened at that time, he was there. Charlie Chaplin, Einstein and the thing, they were there. And what Charlie Chaplin, he was so clever that if you see his movie, he has to do 
always something with something that he didn't have his mouth shut. He always trying to do something to help, to give love, to try to talk with million people and said, stop killing, stop using people. I mean, you think of the speech, you know, the famous speech, it's still very relevant today. He did it all. You know, it's like uh, anything in life, you know, like uh, from uh, the Stone Age, you know, like uh, <laughs> when they were like uh, doing graffiti with uh, 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 a piece of a thing and, and there was still graffiti, the rock. Mm -hmm. They were doing street art. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? They, they were the first street art. We come in with a spray can, but then they were like going... <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? They were like, uh, we thinking we invent street art. They did it uh, in the rock, like with a hammer, with a, not even with a rock and a, a, a little piece of wood. But what Charlie Chaplin for me, it's the true roots. It's a root who brings you to show you many people that it's possible. I heard that when he didn't like something and he was unhappy with an editing and he had footage and everything, he would burn it. He doesn't want you to have it ever. I know for a fact that a lot of the stuff, um, the stuff that you do see is what he wanted you to see. You know, if, if he was exactly. happy with but no, But no, us today, we would say, don't keep it because there is something. But that was him. You know, when he was a little bit older and stuff, I, I, apparently he'd never really thought that he would be remembered for too long. He never thought that his films would be as relevant as they are now. Yeah, I, 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 I'm pity that I, I, I didn't go next to him and I said, you crazy? <laughs> You're going to be remembered for, a, I'll sign a paper to you another 10,000 years. Even if he goes and... A lot of moving will disappear, not him. Yeah. He will never disappear. You know why? Because he started from the beginning. He is Hollywood. He started Hollywood. Mm. You understand? He started Hollywood. And like I said, even a merchant upstairs that doesn't understand any language, they will understand his language. When you see the kid, uh, you go, uh, the thing, uh, the, the thing, he brings uh, the big brown, he takes the thing, he would, who does that? You cannot do, you cannot, you can copy, but you'll never be the original. Yeah. Charlie Chaplin is a legend. He's not even a, a legend, he's a gift. He's a gift. He was a gift in this world. And it will always be. And this world, and thousand years from now, it will be there. I hope so. But me, I don't hope. I know. Okay. There is the pyramid. Mm -hmm. You know? There is uh, in Italy, the, the, uh, all this monument. They're not going to go away. They didn't go away for already a thousand years. They're here. And then Charlie Chaplin is a monument. Oh, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'm holding. You look a piano on it. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me, let me see. Let's see, yeah. let me see what's going on. You can hear me, okay? Yes. Perfect. So, uh, so tell me, you have anything coming up? Any new projects? Uh, uh, I took a museum. Oh, you did? I'm going to do my first museum. Uh, I mean, I did Capol, but not alone. Okay, but w w with your art or? With my heart. Okay. Not only my art, but my heart. <laughs> okay. Or whatever that's follow me and things like this. When this is all over, I'm going to come to LA and you have to, uh, you have to show me. I, wanted to, I want you to take me around at least your studio or something because it looks fantastic. Ah, yes, no problem. <laughs> no, uh, look. Look, look, this, I did it 30 years ago. Okay. I made a sculpture of Charlie Chaplin. That was one of my first. Oh, you did? Okay. But it was, uh, yeah, yeah. And, and, um, and last year, I bought the company. But he was a, a, a kind of oh, a wow. funny man. 
you know, like a, how cool. a, a sculpture, but I did it 30, 30 years Really, ago. yeah? This and he's still there. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. He's still here and things like this, but he was a, and I did the bronze one and I give it to a family or lawyer or something of them, of uh, your family, but I don't know where he okay. came out. Or, you know, we don't know. It's like Bob Marley, uh, uh, Charlie Chaplin. He has kids everywhere. Uh, it's a big family. <laughs> You know, like Bob Marley, every time I see somebody, he said, oh, I'm his son. Again? <laughs> How many? It was like that. I know, I know. You're right. Even your face, I can see. You know, you have a resemblance of him. Yeah, we all have very, very strong genes. Yeah, that's what I saw when I went to the museum. Everyone had something. <laughs> you know, he lived. Even with this, he left his mark. You know, he left his mark. No, Terry, thank you so much. Huh? Yeah, whatever it is, and continue and... and Continue doing what you're doing and always do what you love. I will, I promise. And that's why life is beautiful. Exactly. That's what me a, who came up and said, a, life is beautiful. What you a great way like, to finish. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, hey, take care. Be safe. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, bye.